Hey guys, welcome back to the channel. I'm Spartan. And I'm Pudgy. And we are back watching episode two of Avatar The Last Airbender live action. So after the first episode, I've been looking forward to coming back and I, I am just eager to slowly, slowly unravel this live action series and see yeah. how faithful and how well it can recreate the animated original series into a live action format. Yeah, I think it has a lot of potential and I think we're both open to a an adaptation. And what I mean by that is we all know it's an adaptation, but I think a lot of people expect like a mirror image of each. Yep. I think if there are some changes and it's done well, I'll, I'll be a fan. Yeah, I agree. And, and I think it's never an adaptation's role to beat the source material. Yeah. It's just to try and readapt it in a different way. Yeah. And, and I feel like it's to inspire more people to kind of be within the world. Yeah, exactly. So, you know, because I'm mean, having chats with people in our Discord. You do want to keep chatting, join our Discord. Shameless plug. Shameless plug. <laughs> but we've been chatting in there, and a lot of people seem to share the some of the criticisms we made in the last episode. Um, most people seem to think it's pretty good and faithful and enjoy it. Obviously, there are going to be little tidbits when you're comparing it directly to the animated, oh, but yes. as its own, I think it held up pretty well. I think it was a pretty nice opener, and, and it really does get you back into that Avatar universe and yeah. leaves more to be desired. Visually, it's bloody amazing. I Visually, think, they nailed it, yeah. Yeah. I think the one little... Uh, last episode, I said that they could go either way, and they obviously went the opposite way to what the original did, but getting that backstory on the Fire Nation from the beginning and the 100 years before... I still liked how they did it and visually that was beautiful, but I think that intrigue, oh, see, I don't know, because it does, it does like reel people in at the start too, doesn't it? <laughs> Do you know what I'm, I'm laughing, talking yeah. about? Okay. <laughs> well, wait for you to get to your point. Yeah, no, I'll, my point is I'm not sure what I prefer. Whether I like the reeling in of the hundred year battle beforehand or the intrigue, yeah. Yeah. Yeah, I, I agree. I think for new viewers, maybe it was, maybe it could be helpful, a bit more handholdy, but I do like how you didn't give, we weren't given all that straight away yeah. and it slowly unraveled over time. I think I prefer that. Yeah. But again, I don't think I'm here to compare. No. I don't think it's our job to compare over too much. I think I just want to sort of see what they're giving us here and how well it works. Well, I'm most excited to see Abba, I reckon. <laughs> I loved him last episode, so. I'd love to see him again and just, you know, Upper has a big personality in the original. So I do want to see that come through a little bit as well. I'm just keen to see more bending. Honestly, the bending looked mm. gorgeous. I really enjoyed it. Have we seen all of them? We've seen a little yeah. bit of water, earth, We haven't fire. seen much advanced water other than the intro bit. Yeah. But we've seen a decent amount. So it'll be really cool to see that evolve and as the characters get stronger and we see it more versatile and such. Now, I do want to make mention, Pudgy was informing me, slash scolding me, <laughs> slash complaining that my energy or my reactions might have been a bit like last, uh, last episode. I don't think they were, but <laughs> in saying that, in saying that, just more of a disclaimer, if you guys felt the same way, I think a combination of a recording late, because we're trying to get the first episode out possible, as early as possible, and then B, I think I found it weird because i know what's coming next for the yeah. most part and i'm mindful of not trying to spoil for people a lot of my initial reactions were based on that because i'm not it's not like oh my god this is happening who would have thought i'm like no i, I yeah. know what's gonna happen so i think i'm finding my groove with that it's obviously testing me a little bit think, more yeah i think well i think that's gonna be hard for me too like yeah i gotta find that balance so it's not that i'm not enjoying it or anything it's just that i'm finding my groove with how much to say i'm sure i'll get you know, I'll get used to it as we go along, but just thought I'd let you guys know. Thank you to everyone over on Patreon for supporting the channel. If you do want to get three to four weeks of early access to our edited and uncut reactions, we'll leave the link in the description down below. And if you guys are watching this over on YouTube, don't forget to leave a like on the video, subscribe to the channel, and let us know in the comments down below what you thought of this episode. All right, let's go. Let's go. Love the iconic. Fire Nation sound. 
I'm sure it'll turn up. You probably just misplaced it. I love how calm Ara is, and Zuko's just like. He ran! The ultimate warrior! He's a coward! I don't know about that. Aw, oh, come on. Come on. How many places can there be for an avatar to hide? That is true. There's only one. I, I actually like that interaction a lot more. That sold their duo to me a bit more. It's time to go home. What? We did our part. We saved him from the firebenders. Now it's time to go home. My duty, our duty, is to protect the village like Dad told us to. They can protect themselves. Besides, what good is saving Wolf Cove if we don't save the world? Tara's got big ambitions. Ever since he came into our lives, things have changed. Yeah, she can sense it. Before I met him, I couldn't bend enough water to fill a thimble. And now look what I can do. Her potential is like limitless at this point. I don't know about you, but I can't go back. It's almost like they were confined to this small village and now they're seeing the world. The world opens up, yeah. You can't go back to ignorance. And they said um, they weren't traveling between nations anyways now. It can't be. Hey, There's the intro. He looks good too. Marmor looks sick. Okay, so he snuck in when they were at the Southern Air Temple. What's this? Looky, looky what we got here. I think that's the one she got from the pirates in the animated. I'm not sure. With the Fire Nation hunting for benders, it was just too dangerous for you to have. But now that you've gone out into the world, oh, they did say goodbye. You, you are a water bender. Oh, I like how we're getting that covered as well. The views are just still mesmerizing, man. Oh, that's nice. Well. My, whole oh, man, rest in peace. You were there for me. And I wasn't there for you. Oh, Goodbye, don't... Gyatso. No. Sorry. Damn, dude, that actually... <laughs> that actually choked me up a little. I wasn't expecting that. I hate how he says he wasn't there for him. Like, I get it, but... Damn, dude, that actually choked me up. I didn't expect to get hit in the field so quickly. <laughs> Holy shit, I don't think I'm going to get over these views. Wow, man. That is a stunning shot. Holy, even <laughs> even all of them. I know. Upper looks brilliant. <laughs> you want to join us, Momo? Momo? Momo. He looks like a Momo, doesn't he? Just like how you look like a soccer? <laughs> <laughs> Not sure if compliment or... Anything unusual to happen in the vicinity? It will be reported here. Have you lost your mind? You want to ask a Fire Nation commander if they've seen the Avatar? Everything is just riding on this. One thing you must learn is how to get what you want without divulging your true intentions. You must use your tact, your empathy. But I like that line from Iroh. It's kind of what he's doing with Zuko. There she is. Giant scary lady. Oh, I like that soundtrack as well. Hey. Oh, their makeup looks really good. Awesome, yeah. What? What's happening? Watch out! Hey! Ah. <laughs> you are on sacred ground. Stop! You're making a mistake. Look like it's bodied straight away. It's just classic. Ridiculous. There would have been signs if she was the Avatar. I mean, airbending is a sign, no? I mean, I think this is the sign that we're looking for. That's Suki, I reckon. Looks like her. Like, it look like, looks like it would be. We're not here to cause any trouble. All I want is to learn more about Avatar Kiyoshi. Isn't that what this place is about? Keeping our memory alive? Yeah, how are you not welcoming the Avatar? Like, what are you doing? He's the Avatar. According to you. And a few reflections off a statue. Well, isn't that what you use usually to believe it? But if he is the Avatar, how can we turn our back on him? Bah! 
Yeah, you can't have an island worshipping one avatar and not after the next. You're too young to know that there are many in this world who would take advantage of that kind heart. Like Pudgy. No. Disgusting. You're disgusting. No, I'm the avatar. It's a big responsibility, all these people's lives in your hand. Personally, I take that responsibility very seriously. I, uh, I'm the guardian of my village, too. <laughs> How are you protecting your people if you're here? What? I'm not. I mean, I, I am. Dude, pick up your game. Pro I have to save the world first. Katara, how does it go with you? <laughs> protecting things so protecting the village? Soccer, you got no game, my friend. Who respect my boy, Soccer? What can I do for the crown prince? As I was saying, Please. I need... Excuse my nephew. We've been at sea a long time, and our manners have grown as rusty as our anchors. <laughs> <laughs> With such finesse, he excuses Zuko. We don't get many VIP visitors around here. Much less the famed dragon of the West. Oh! Back <laughs> on his name. We're hoping to track schools of jumping shark squids. Shark squids? Mm. They're migrating this time of year. <laughs> he acts dumb, but man, that guy. I'm sure we can track down what you need. Very kind. Uh, Commander Zhao. Commander Zhao. And here we go, we meet Commander Zhao. The infamous. He knows what's up. He's sus already. I get a bit of a peep from man soccer. Oh, he's good. He's covered. <laughs> that was an awkward interaction. Push and pull. Doing so well. <laughs> yeah. It's getting better. Awesome. Turning it into a weapon as well. You know, you should be practicing too. The Avatar needs to master all four elements. Maybe later. Really not up to it, hey? It's just, Gyatso used to be the one who trained me. Yeah, it's a yeah, big it's... difference. It'll be in mourning. And it's literally like yesterday for him. You can see how alone he still feels. Yeah, Katara is always good at being able to cheer him up. Are you really an airbender? He literally just did the watch this. <laughs> Gotta admit, he has a way with people. That's true. He really does bring people together. Connection. Oh, oh. That's how he's gonna be. the oh, ball. <laughs> <laughs> Goes the savior of the world. <laughs> Soccer. Well, Bruce, well, that's directly out of the uh, animated. And although his airbending skills are great, he has a lot to learn before he's ready to save anyone. He may be entertaining, but that doesn't mean he's not dangerous. He's a threat, and the sooner he and his friends are off our island, the better. I do get it. They've stayed safe, and uh -oh. as soon as people find out there's an avatar, they come and hunt him. Crazy dude, like the avatar. He thinks he's found the Avatar, according to his crew. They claim to have discovered him at a small water tribe village. Prince Zuko captured him, but then lost him. Sneaky snakes all around. Oh. <laughs> Very sneaky. That's literally you. <laughs> Just pop up out of nowhere. Um, I could run you through the basics, if you want. I think she's got a damn pat. <laughs> Oh, of course, you got to show him up like the that. The precision, though. That was pretty good. Us seven <laughs> water tribe warriors are no more for our hand-to-hand -hand fighting. Anymore. Oh, here we go. Man needs to stretch first. <laughs> I mean, cheap move, dude. The guy's stretching. Like, what are you doing? I mean, if he truly was a warrior, he should be able to fight back, hey? Who needs to remember her place? Man, soccer's in town. 
Yeah, he's like, he's like, what the fuck? <laughs> she just choked him out, messed oh, up the no. strap. She thought that's not the way to connect. I mean, she did say they haven't been around that so long. Nothing about the Aptar state or any of her powers. Nothing that can help me train. So how am I supposed to figure out how to save the world? Believe in you, Aang. Well, your beliefs can help a lot. Back home, the other kids used to say I was lucky because I never really had to train. But I did have to train. Mm, he worked hard to develop my powers, but to keep them under control. Yeah. Oh, shit. Damn, dude. <laughs> yeah, you'd be scared of your powers for sure. What if I never learn how to control my power? How many people will I hurt? But imagine what'll happen if you don't even try. Yeah, what's the lesser evil in that sense? According to this, all the previous avatars are incarnations of your past lives. You are literally not alone. The other avatars are inside you. They're inside you. <laughs> I love it. Ciao, boom. It's gone. Zuko's not going to be happy. Something about a flying cow near Kyoshi Island. So he set sail at dawn. Ara is so cool, calm, collected. Stop. Stop. Pretty cool. I like the in sync. Stop. Oh. <laughs> Sokka wants to be a warrior too. Here's she warrior. I'm really enjoying Sokka. I'm not going to lie. He's probably going to be a lot this episode as well. Quirkiness, the funniness, the awkwardness, it's all there. That sweet side of him. <laughs> His eyes are like. Talk <laughs> 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 other ladies, man. Is a spot in you yet? <laughs> oh, don't even. For her to like chop him out or something. Oh my god. <laughs> the world needed the avatar the most, he vanished. He ran. I only want the power. Which is why you will make a great avatar. Got a quiet old fight it all down, yeah. Hey. It's about time. Uh, I'm sorry. I didn't know how to reach you. It's only a hundred years late. <laughs> She's got that Kyoshi presence, as always. There were times I thought I'd never find the Avatar. Lost hope. But it's Damn. almost worse now that I know he's close. Because now the chance to go home is real. <gasps> oh, I feel this pain, man. <laughs> oh, go soccer! At this point, it's not going to have fighting. He's just trying to get close to her. <laughs> Tell me they kiss this scene, because I see that lipstick off. To be honest, where I'm from, there's not much call for a real warrior. Apparently it was that easy to take all your makeup off. What matters is not the power inside. It's the will and desire. I really, really like that. The heart. Okay, I can respect that. Suki, I like that. Suki's really sweet. Yeah, the Thank mother can see that soccer influence. I've always wondered what the world outside was like. But I never had the courage to leave. I've always wondered what I'd find. Now I know. <laughs> oh. Let's find some soccer action, baby. She's good at flirting. The bell. You're here too. We have to go. <laughs> <laughs> Soccer. Oh my god, this guy. The Avatar State is a combination of all your past lives focusing their energy through you. The Avatar State gives you the strength of a thousand vendors. God damn. That's wild. In Pai Show, the first move is not always the best. Pai Show, baby. Knowing where he might go is more important than speed. And yeah. so, there's one avatar, there may be another. Aro, Aro, Aro. He just spits facts, this man. I love the way he talks as well. In, like, wise riddles. Yeah. 
Such a lovely island. And we welcome you to it. Though we wish we'd had some advance notice, we are quite unprepared for guests. Emphasis on the guests. I'd hate to see all that change because of an outsider. Oh, that shop talk. shaking like. You and your men are the only outsiders here. <laughs> Brilliant. Yes. Oh man, the suspense. Oh, oh shit. Oh, damn. She's she just, strong. Yeah, she just bitched him. Threw the man like he was a paper plane. <laughs> Wait. Timing ain't great. It never is, is it? What if I hurt someone along the way? And how many have already been hurt because you haven't been here? Damn, dude, that's cold. Being the avatar means putting your duties above all else. Oh, she, she's angry. She is so angry. Damn, Kyoshi. I should say no virtue. <laughs> Yeah. Hates the North. And unless you do something about it, another race of benders will be wiped out just as air nomads. Yeah. I get she's you speaking the truth. What it means to be the avatar. It means being a warrior. <laughs> oh. <laughs> Merciless warrior. Oh damn. Holy that I would love to see her in action. Yes. Look at this duo. That's right, soccer. <laughs> Slam dunk, soccer baby. Soccer primes them, Suki finishes them off. Let's see. Oh, oh shit! Oh, yes, soccer. Soccer. That is a move and a half. <laughs> oh, that slow mo. Oh, perfect. Both sides will fight harder because the Avatar has returned. Hope. Does not come without a cost. Look at Katara standing up by herself. Oh shit. <laughs> I'm so pumped. Come on, Katara. <laughs> yeah, she ain't ready for this. Oh. Yeah, that PTSD man. Oh, look at her go. Oh, did she send him into the Avatar state? <laughs> what? <laughs> Dude. She looks sick. She actually looks fucking sick. <laughs> no way, dude. She's a beast. <laughs> She's a beast. Come on. Did she just arrive here too? Oh. <laughs> There's no way! She's she's something else. Oh wow, she's all fused the, it. All the elements. Damn, she looks sick. Oh my god, Kyoshi's a monster. Pull back. <laughs> See you later. Back to Come on, Jay, I'll get in there, buddy. Get in there. See you get flooded. Yeah, run away, chicken shit. <laughs> Suki's loving it. Damn, dude, that was hype. That was sick. Wow. There's nothing here that we've lost that can't be replaced. And you've given us something far more valuable in return. I'm not getting like teary. To <laughs> oh no, I'm feeling the emotion too, to be honest. Shit. Nice job, Avatar. Damn straight. The Avatar, baby. <laughs> Thank you, Sokka. For what? For bringing the world to me. <laughs> oh, dude. <laughs> oh my god. Yeah, Sokka deserves that one, man. Go, Sokka, you legend. True Spartan. <laughs> oh, she gave him her fan. So this means you don't want to go home anymore? He's found purpose now. We need to get to the Northern Water Tribe because something terrible is going to happen there. <sighs> something only I can stop. Bad news after bad news. You have me, Tara, and a flying ball of fur. <laughs> what more could you want? And my bar. <laughs> Sog is ready to put him on the frying pan. <laughs> oh, I love it. It's just what he said. 
Don't tell anyone. About the Avatar. Oh, shit. I fully understand the sensitive nature of this information. Yeah, of course you do. We would be honored to have your partnership and your loyalty. Yes, you guys don't understand the political yeah. negotiations. Aru knows how to tame the snake. To your supreme eminence, the great flame of the world. And he's already snaked them. I am but a humble servant in the southern seas. Yeah, humble my ass. I the must say, has returned. He looks, he looks badass, yeah. He looks sick. <laughs> well, if I wasn't sold last episode, I am completely sold this episode. I feel like this episode was much better than the last. Much stronger. I'm not going to lie. This episode got me hyped. Yeah. I really, really enjoyed it. I, I think it was almost flawless. There's probably one thing I'll comment on a bit later. Mm hmm. But I genuinely love this episode. Holy crap. From the visuals to the story building to the character portrayals, I felt like every character won me over 10 times more in this episode than the first. Yeah. Sokka and Suki's chemistry was amazing. And that, that was something else. Like, the fact that... Oh. And you're very, like, sensitive about subtle chemistry not like, being off. So if you're sold, then that's... Like, me being sold doesn't say much. Yeah. But that's that's probably a better way of putting it because I was gonna say I can't say that I don't that I don't cry much because I do, but it has to be done well and and that was done well. Yeah, wow. Honestly, and she's that stunning. Was... Like I yeah. love that we got to see her makeup off. I agree. I thought yeah. I thought she she was attractive. I thought she suited Suki's look. Her voice, even I don't know, just the way she speaks. That was really good. So they were done brilliantly. Likewise, so was Iroh and Zuko's chemistry. Like, I wasn't as sold on Zuko last episode. I think he grew on me a lot more this episode. Zuko? Yeah. yeah. And and even Iroh and their dynamic and their duo. I'm like, okay, cool. Like, they're actually yeah. getting that, that feeling that it's them. I think for me, I'm still getting used to Iroh just because he doesn't have that, that voice. voice. But I am loving the lines. I am loving, like, just... The cool, calm, collectedness from him. Like, that's what he is and that's what he represents for me. And he acts all silly and whatever with the food and the tea. But you just know there's so much depth there. There's layers. And Zuko's not seeing that right now because he's too preoccupied with his own shit. Which I get. Like, of course he's going to be. What a, I mean, we just saw his father. He's a badass. I don't, he's not like father material. <laughs> yeah. I thought the Avatar Kyoshi scene was off its head. That Insanity. Was epic. I, I, look, man, I'm going to upset some people here, but I honestly think that was better than in the animated version. Ooh. I don't remember the animated version explicitly, but I also just think that hype was, was 10 out of 10. Like, I think that was brought to life and realized on a whole other level. And I just thought it was mental. Her presence, they really captured Kyoshi's defiance and more sort of hard ass nature. And I thought that was just sick. I like how they added, it wasn't overdone, but they added that voice in the end where it was kind of that echoey, like deeper voice of Kyoshi. That was really nice. Yeah. And it was nice seeing like her lessons to Aang, just giving him a little bit more of a mature, realistic perspective on the situation yeah. of the world beyond just, you know, like he, unfortunately he can't afford just to be an idealistic kid. Yeah. He has to grow beyond that. But she did emphasize you will become your own avatar. So he yeah. has to take what he learns, but also stay true to where he's at. And I think, you know, I, I feel like I've got a little bit more insight into her this episode compared to maybe the originals. Agreed. Because Agreed. she was saying that, you know, I was once like you. And I'm sure she said that before, but just the way it was depicted. And you just heard the frustration in her voice. Like, I was once like you and it caused damage. And I needed to become this, to become strong, to help everyone and that was my role and that was my power essentially and so it's almost like Aang is her reflection at that point in time you know so you you really do understand her frustration when she is speaking with Aang yeah 100 percent, and probably feels the weight of being missing for 100 years and how yeah. bad the world's gotten and yeah. she's just sort of speaking her perspective it's also the way she would deal with it as well yeah. but honestly wow i just honestly think this episode again it looked stunning Everyone looked on point. The Kyoshi Warriors looked fantastic. They were really good. I don't... There was that that's opening scene with Appa flying with everyone looked ridiculous. The bending, once again, like, Kyoshi was a good test because I was always wondering when those 
for those full sand battles mm. where you've got to mix the elements and go nuts, what would that look, look like? like? And I think that she demonstrated that they can make it really believable. Like it, yeah. I, that didn't look cheesy or cheap or anything. It looked, it no. looked exactly how it should be. Yeah, that looked really good. So I'm really glad about that. I'm curious to hear what that one thing was that yes. you're going to mention. So as a big soccer fan, someone who loves soccer, and this was something that I was a bit concerned about leading into the series, I still think Sokka's great. I'm actually really enjoying his character, and I think overall the actor is doing a brilliant job of bringing Sokka to life. But a lot of Sokka's character growth and a lot of his funny iconic one-liners yeah. – have been taken out. I, I remember reading articles, you know, they didn't want to, they didn't think Sokka's character had aged well with the times. And I just think it dismisses a lot of what made Sokka Sokka and also his character growth and character arc. Yeah. The iconic part, for those of you who watched the animated and know what I'm talking about, when he first meets the Kyoshi Warriors, he's sort of like, girls can't be warriors and like you guys, you know, and then he gets bodied and he gets destroyed and then he sort of grows to appreciate it. And I think it's perfect, especially Sokka come, you know, from a village where there were no female warriors. It was all the men that protected and provided for their village. And so showing him see the world on different lands, appreciate yeah. different cultures, I think that was just... Well, because even that storyline there just... It, it feeds into him saying, you know, I've only been on this little island. Like, I have, exactly, I've yeah. not seen the world. And so, so I can't help but feel that they took that out for the wrong reasons and that it just diminishes Sokka's character growth a little bit because that is part of what what helps him grow as a yeah. character and then you know i thought the later stuff and the way he grew to appreciate the warriors stuff was sick and he fought side by side suki he grew as a warrior that was all done really well just missing that initial origins mm. i think took a little bit away from him as a character and his growth to see him you know otherwise i thought he was brilliant i love sock in his episode yeah he's, he's he's acting it doesn't feel out of place or yeah at, at all it just feels like it's it's soccer it's really making me believe it's soccer well, the one thing that I wanted to comment on, I guess my, like, negative of the episode, I really do hope that Katara and Zuko's chemistry does get better over the episodes. Like, it's not, like, fully hitting for me, especially, like, when they were doing their little fight there. I don't know. Like, it was a little bit hard for me to, like, fully invest in it. I think it's very early days. That was a very yeah. small scene as well. For sure, for sure. But... Maybe I just had like a moment or something. Yeah. yeah, I don't know. I just do remember in the animated that their chemistry was on point from the start. That's what how I felt, but that's fine. Okay, yeah, I'm not. I don't remember to be honest how early the chemistry started. Oh, yeah, I felt like it was okay for yeah. now. I we definitely want to see that, that grow, yeah, but I feel sure. like it was okay for now. For sure. I am so happy that we got to see Momo. Like, he's so cool. He looks great. He looks great. I'm a fan of the animals. I can't say he's the one that won the over. It was definitely Avatar <laughs> Kyoshi. And I love Avatar Kyoshi completely bitching Commander Zhao. Like, yeah. man just ran for his life. That was really well done. Zhao's acting. Like, you just see that cunningness, that yeah. sneaky snake potential. I was worried at the beginning. So I was like, hmm, I don't know if this man can pull Zhao off. He seemed too, like, too nice. But towards <laughs> the end, he definitely had a lot more of that. Yeah. snake in him so yeah. yeah overall i honestly have like one percent grievance that i that i explained but i actually think that was a near perfect episode i think that was super enjoyable it definitely pulled me into this series more and yeah it improved upon the first significantly for me i feel like the pacing is pretty good and some of the small differences just to keep that pace up i That's think what i'm excited I think about works. i'm excited about the pacing of this just getting more to the point, to the heavy hitters, yeah. the the key segments of Aang's journey and us being able to just experience that. We hope you enjoyed our reaction. If you did, leave a like on the video, subscribe to the channel for more and let us know in the comments down below what you thought of this episode. And if you guys do want to get early access to our reactions or watch them in their uncut form, then check out our Patreon in the link in the description. Take care of yourselves and we'll see you guys on our next reaction. See you guys.